Hey guys, welcome to Bank Fish. <clears throat> well, hope everybody out there had a great New Year. It's Nate Grew's day. Hope they, uh, hope y'all eat y'all's uh, black eyed peas and cabbage for New Year's Day. Give you some good luck for starting out the New Year. And uh, well, you can see here that I got a bunch of soft plastic baits on the table, and I'll get that in a little bit. So. But yeah, I'm happy that it's a new year, new fresh year, and hope everybody had a good time, hope everybody stayed safe. Uh, thank you guys for pushing the subscribe button, thank you for watching my videos, I do appreciate it, and, uh, and I plan on making a bunch of videos. If we can ever get some nice weather some nice sunny weather, go out and do some bass fishing, that would be amazing. I would go fishing in the cold, but I don't have the right gear to fish in the cold. And cold weather is very hard to fish. And I'm not a fan of cold weather. So, since it's yucky out there, I figure I'll make a video about y'all about soft plastics. Why do we buy soft plastics? How do we rig them? Uh, and what's the difference between hard baits and soft plastics and all that good stuff? So I'm going to show you real quick a rig that I've got on. It is here. Right here, I've got me. Almost like a Texas rig, but not quite. Oh, and I forgot to put my weight on it. It is called a split shot rig, which is almost quite, it's kind of like a Texas rig, but it's a split shot rig. So let me put this weight on here and I'll show you in a sec. This, my friends, is a split shot rig. Okay? You've got your little weight right there, and you got your hook, and your worm. Okay? It doesn't always have to be a worm. Um, I got me a little trick worm on there, a nice little worm. If you go on my Facebook at Bank Fishing on Facebook, and you go to the page or group, whichever, there's a picture of the three pound bass that I caught, uh, I want to say, sometime in November, I believe. Uh, that's what I caught it on. It's a, it's a trick worm. And this rig right here, split shot. So, that is what I caught that three pound bass on, is that right there. So, now, to how I rigged this, if you saw my last video, yeah, I've described that I always use braided line all the time. I use braided line that I use my fluorocarbon leader and the main reason I do that is because fluorocarbon line is a little bit pricey and so I use my braided line. I give me some cheap braided line. Um, this this brine line here is like eight dollars for a spool of okay and this is 30 pound test but I normally use 15 pound test. Um, and I used the green one because my, my favorite color is green. So, and what I do is I tie me a swivel, a barrel swivel. Okay, the reason I do that is line twist. You avoid line twist. Okay, and especially if you're using a spinner reel like this, when you're using a spinner reel, you don't want line twist on your line. Otherwise, you're going to get your line's going to get all tangled up in your reel, and that's not good. So, fluorocarbon line is about what? About two feet with the line. You put your little split shot weight on there. Just a small, regular split shot weight. Not, not too big, not too small. And then you get your one eye hook with Texas rig. Now, Texas rig, this is called Texas rig. Is where you 
you have your bait hooked right, but you have it nice and weedless right there. Nice and weedless. And when that bass comes in, it will hit it just like that, and that hook it will, it will sink that down, and that hook will catch its lip. So, that, my friends, is text free. So, and I'll show you how to do that. Let me undo it real quick, and I'll show you. So what you do is you grab your worm, see that straight in the, in the bottom right there? Come down, you go go like that with an inch. That's about an inch or so. You bring it out. You bring it out like that. See there? Bring it out like that. Bring it all the way. All the way up. And then you turn this hook, and you make that soft flax all the way up to that line where it's nice and snug. Where it's nice and snug at that bottom right there. And then, you just take this piece right here, you pierce the top, just like that, where that hook is nice and flat. And you just go back and you skin hook it, and it's nice. Nice and weedless, just like that. Nice and weedless. That's how it's textured rig. So this is a split shot rig. And then I'll show you what a Texas rig looks like. Texture rig. This is my wife's pole. Nice and pink. This is a. Is this seven foot? Or is this six? This is a six four. Six, six foot four inches rod. Nice little small rod. It's my wife's. Nice and pink. This is a trait zelding. Trait zelding pink rod series. It's a two bearing. Two bearing. Real. Uh, I don't know what the gear ratio is. Yeah, two bearing reel. Trait Zelding series pink rod. I'm a fan of her. I'm a fan of her husband's too. They're pro professional bass, bass anglers. So, now this, my friends, the same, same bait, right? Same Texas rig. The only difference is, now this is my wife's pull so I just put regular line on here so I didn't put braid line on there I didn't have enough braid line but if she wants braid line I always put it on there but but the difference is you have a bullet weight instead of a split shot you have a bullet weight okay and a bullet weight what this mainly does, it helps you go up and down. That that weight will go up and down. It will hit the bottom, and this this will you know be in the bottom, and you just kind of play with it, and the, the worm will go up and down. You know, depending how you're how you're messing with the rod. Rod. So and that, my friends, and that bullet weight, it helps you. It gets, especially on bottom, okay, go to the very bottom, um, shallow, deep, whatever, right? And that bullet weight gets your bait down there to the bottom pretty quick, and you can feel just about everything in the bottom. What's going on, rocks, anything, you know, rocky areas, soft flats, muddy areas, you can feel that bottom. So that's what that bullet weight's for. So... So, those are two techniques, and both techniques work just work as just as great. Um, um, to me, they work just as great. I can't tell the difference what works better or not. Um, split shot is mainly for super light, super light tackle. Um, Texas rig sometimes is a heavy. A little bit heavier tackle. Um, 
They can also be light as well. Um, a lot of times when people, when they Texas rig, they use like these big, these bigger worms, these big, you know, bigger trick worms. Um, a lot of times we'll use lizards as well. Um, we'll use a, a crawl. You know, this is like a, a crawl dead. Okay. You use that on Texas rig as well. Um, or you can go and get your smaller hook. You can go light and get just, you know, a small, lighter crawl. Um, it just depends. Like, here's a, here's another smaller, uh, little Texas worm. A little small, small worm. Um, you can also do Carolina rigs with them, drop shot rigs with them. You can do, uh, split shot, Texas rigs, drop shot, Canada, Carolina rigs. I think that's about it. And there's a, a Tokyo rig as well, but I have never tried that. Not yet, anyway. But there's several different rigs how to do it. And not only just worms, but swim baits as well. Okay? You've got a swim bait. Jerk bait, swim bait. You know, supposed to imitate a shad. I know this is pink. But... Try to imitate a shad, dying shad or something. I know it's pink, but they got lures out there for for the ladies. So, you know, they got pink worms, pink swim baits, pink rods, pink lures. I'm surprised that they got pink line. I'm surprised they haven't got pink cooks yet. So, but bass will hit them just as well. So, but that's the Texas rig. And. The other one, the other one, the split shot rig. They both work just as great, it's depending on what you what you prefer. Me, I prefer split shot rig because I'll it's a little bit lighter tackle, and my heavier stuff I prefer Texas rig. So, and this is my wife's, and she likes to use the little trick worm too as well. So that was a little bit lighter. Oh, here's another. Split shot swim bait rig that I rigged up. And this, my friends, is a swim bait. I got, see, same thing, same technique. Braid of line, swivel. Now, this is a split shot bullet weight, which I thought that was really cool. And my friends is split shot swim bait. Push up bullet swim bait. And have not caught anything on it, but I haven't really fished it as well. So so when it gets closer to spring, I will definitely give this a shot. I haven't had a chance with it. And this reel right here is the matching reel with this spinning reel. It's a Walmart spinning reel, seven bearing, and this is a Walmart spinning reel as well. This one is a six bearing bait caster. So, and these, these are, they're actually brand, they are Outdoors Angler, Outdoors Angler brand, Walmart brand basically. And I wanted the combos, I wanted the the set so I got both I got the bait caster and the spinner reel that goes with it so and I tell you what this six bearing bait caster this was like 30 bucks that one was $20 and they work great they work wonderful and I've caught I've caught bass on this reel I've caught bass on that reel but I haven't tried this I haven't tried this split shot bullet weight technique yet, um, but I will, and hopefully I'll catch a bass with it. And I rig up everything the same, a fluorocarbon leader with a swivel, and uh, uh, my braided line, and that way I don't have a whole lot of line twists, that's why I use that swivel. So, 
And if I, for some reason, I break my line, my braid line is still on there, and I just have to replace the floor carpet. It makes it real easy to replace. I don't have to mess with the braided line. And my braided line stays pretty good. So, so that's another split shot. But it's a split shot bullet weight. I, I saw those at Cabela's. I thought they were pretty cool, so I'll give it a shot. So, but again, there's a variety of different ways how to fish with plastics. So like lizards are normally a uh, Texas rig with a bullet weight. Crawls, Texas rig with a bullet weight. Uh, these Gugam baits, uh, drag and drop, these are drop shot rigs or very light line with a hook on it, with a small hook on it. Throw it out there, see what you can get. Um, this is a light, yeah, this, this could probably be a split shot Texas rig with the uh, with baby crawls, these are like baby, young baby crawls. Um, this, uh, it could be just a hook itself, or it could be a split shot bullet weight, or it could also be a Texas rig with a bullet weight. So, um, Texas rig or split shot or drop shot weight, whichever. And these trailers. These are basically trailers for your spinner baits, but you can also use them as worms. Uh, you can also um, imitate a shad, throw them out there. I would use a lighter line and a small hook, Texas rig it, and throw it out there and see what you get. Or you just use a regular hook and throw it out there and see what you can get. But those will work as well if you don't want to use them on your spinner baits. But these are normally for spinner baits. So, and they imitate a shad, so you'll catch a bass with them. And also, you can use these as well as the shaky heads. And this, my friends, are what shaky heads look like. It's a little hook. It's a four-out hook. So, I'll show you how to rig this up too. So, I'm gonna get me a one of these, one of these bigger trick worms. Okay, bigger, regular trick worm. Okay, this is a shaky head. Okay, the bottom. This is the bottom part. This is what hits the bottom. And then you have this screw lock right here. Push that in. Push that in. And twist it all the way up. Just like that. See, just like that. And then. And hook it, make sure you make sure we, we loose and there. That, my friends, is a shaky head. So, and that tail stays up in the water, just like that. So, when it's so when it hits that water like that and it hits this, that, my friends, is how it goes lands like that in the water and you hop it hop it in the bottom so that my friends is a shaky hit works great in rocks rocky areas flats probably wouldn't put it in heavy cover weeds and grass like that you'll get snagged up but any kind of flats rocky areas that thing will work. So that's another technique for your soft plastics. 
And what is awesome about Texas Plastic is like, they're very cheap. I mean, they're like what? Depending on what brand, like, you gains $5.99 for you get, one, two, three, four, five, seven. You get six worms for $5.99, so almost a dollar a worm. Um, this pack you get, this was like $4, and you get 20 worms out of that. Um, you get 20 worms out of these. So, if you learn, if you know how to rig them up, that's real simple. It's real cheap. Go get a bag of worms. Get you some hooks and weights. And you can get some regular one-out weights for 89 cents at Walmart. Um, get you some weights. Wait, You get a pack of weights for like two bucks. And you just pick what you want that you think you'll catch a bass on. Like, I've caught some bass on these. He's caught candy lizards. And uh, he's a uh, chartreuse pepper. Lizard as well. Caught me some good quality fish with them. So those work. Um, you just gotta know how to fish them. You gotta put them in the right spots, right areas. Um, springtime, you can fish these things everywhere in the springtime. You'll catch them bass with them. So that, my friends, is how you fish with plastics. And they're very cheap. And like, I mean, I got so many of them. My favorite thing fishing is soft plastics. I mean, I got a whole bag of this soft plastics. I've got three containers. I've got two more containers of soft plastics. That. More plastics. And more plastics. I don't think I need any more plastic baits. I think I got plenty. So, all this, all these pages are plastics. Plastic, I got frog, plastic frogs, plastic swim baits, warm. Uh, another thing of lizards, worms, more worms, a bunch of plastic bags. So, that's mainly what I fish with is plastics. If I can swim it with a plastic, if I can make it look like a shad with plastic, make it look like a crawdad, make it look like a lizard, make it look like a Something with something on the bottom with the bass like the so and and it's cheap, it's easy, it's really easy to put together. Throw it out there. But I also like my spinner baits and my jerk baits and my lipless crank baits and my crank baits and all that too. So and those get a little bit pricier. I got a spinner bait right here. I got a Coogan Zinger spinner bait. And man, that spinner bait is so nice. And it was seven dollars. It's so nice. And I'm afraid to fish it because I don't want to lose a seven dollar lure. I mean, I'm okay losing one of these plastics. Because this whole thing was like three bucks, four bucks. This whole thing is seven dollars. So I'll fish it, but man, I if I get snag and lose it, it's gonna be a heartbreaker. I'm looking forward to fishing with that in the spring as well on spinnerbait. But don't get caught up on the bigger brands. I mean, you can get some you can get some nice spinnerbaits at Walmart. I mean, I'll show you real quick. It's my wife's type of box, and I got some spinnerbaits in here. I mean, you can get a spinnerbait. Like this. If I can get it on thing. That'd be great. Okay. It's like a bluegill or maybe a crawl pattern. Spare bait. 
Okay. And you could hit that in the very fish that in the bottle and imitate a bluegill. Or you can fish it, you know, however you want. You can swim it and make have it imitate a bluegill. You know, crawl. You know, that nice pattern. And then you got the shad pattern. You got a shad pattern with the trailer on it. Swim that, make it look like a shad. Bass will hit it. So and those are the one these are the one dollar spinner baits at Walmart. So, and I fish with those. I caught some bass on those as well. So dollar spinner bait to so seven dollar spinner bait. You can still catch bass with them. So, Six dollar thing of worms. Four dollar thing of worms. It all depends what you want to fish and how much you want to spend. So, so. But again, again, that is soft plastic baits. There's so many varieties, and it's a lot of fun. Go out there, get you a bag of worms, get you some hooks, some weights, rig it up, get your spin reel, or get you a bait caster, or even get you a push button. I mean, you can get you a push button rod. If you don't know how to use those other reels, get you a push button rod just like that. And then tie your bait on there. See, I got a plastic bait. This is for, this is a drop shot rig for uh, pan fishing. So, so plastic baits are really fun to do, and that is. My whole point is that there's different varieties of ways to rig them up, have a lot of fun with them. You can creep fishing with them. You can go back, uh, go to the lake. You can go to a pond, try it out. And if there's a bass in there, and you're, and if you're uh, twitching that lure right, getting triggering that strike, that bass will get it. I'm telling you, the bass will get it. So, well, guys, thank you for joining this this channel. Watch my other videos, and thank you, thank you for pushing that subscribe button, and like this video if you like this, about all these plastics, and go on my Facebook, uh, Bank Fishing on Facebook, uh, there's a group, uh, you can ask to join there, I'll, I'll preview on there, and there's a page on there, you can take a look at the pictures on there, what I've caught on there, um, that split shot, the split shot trick worm that I that I showed you. There's a three pound bass on there that I've caught on that as well. So, and there's a picture of that, and there's a variety of picture of pan fishing as well, and there's some bass on there as well. So take a look out there, take a gander of it, and always remember, always have fun fishing. Thanks, and we'll see you again next time.